Hello, my beautiful Pisces, intuitive soul coach here with your September bonus reading. So this month we'll take a look at all things health, wealth, and abundance for you. So I'm so glad to have you back if you're returning and welcome if you are new. So please do see the disclaimer in the description box below. And Pisces, if you're interested in signing up for a free reading or a personal reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So we're just going to get a few shuffles and pull out for each category the health, wealth, and abundance before we dive into the energies here. Okay. And just a reminder, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with every single one of you, especially the intuitive guidance that comes through from spirit as well. Um, also, we do have Mercury going into retrograde towards the end of the month, and we have a full moon showing up in, I believe, around the 20th or so. So you may want to click that notification bell if you haven't already, Pisces, so you're notified when I do your full moon reading next week. All right, what do we have here for you in the health category? In the health category. Ooh, I'm loving this. All right, we have the Oracle's Gift starting off right away here. In the health category, we have Oracle's Gift. Uh, this is all about uh, you tuning into your intuition. It's about... Uh, clairvoyance as well it's about you seeing the future pretty much you can see here that uh, I get two energies from this card I always think of uh, teacup scrying you know scrying in the teacup uh, but I also get the message at the end of uh, your tea sometimes if you drink like yogi tea there is a message uh, like a fortune at the end of it so I always think of like a fortune cookie as well you break open and uh, the cookie and you get the fortune inside and for a lot of you you're manifesting what you want at this time regarding your health okay some of you may be drinking more tea instead of sugary products as well uh, or alcoholic beverages but uh, what I'm really getting is more an internal shift in the health a lot of you are focusing on your mental health and trying to slow and quiet the mind down a little bit more especially if you've been carrying uh, some sort of decision or heavy burden uh, going on here for you. You're definitely tuning into your intuition at this time and you're making solid choices and decision based on what your intuition is telling you instead of what other people are telling you you should do. So I like this showing up in your health uh, category. We have the two of inspiration, the two of wands energy. So for a lot of you, this is the card of travel or relocation as well, uh, but it's about you planning the future. So again, you're tuning into your intuition regarding your health. A lot of you may be feeling like you need to get away. You need to go on a vacation because you don't want to deal with uh, all of the heavy burdens of what's going on in your energy currently. So you may be planning a trip to get your health back in shape. Some of you may be planning uh, a vacation to uh, a, a, maybe a yoga retreat or maybe a health retreat or something of that nature as well. But you're planning for something. Um, a lot of you are setting some goals at this time, you know, better eating, uh, better sleeping. I just, um, I was seeing seeing sleep coming in and I'm getting lavender as well. So if you maybe have a uh, if you're into aromatherapy or maybe you have something with lavender or some oils set up next to your bed, but I'm getting sleepless nights for some of you and that's something health wise that you want to work on uh, more. We have the night of voices coming up. Knight of Voices is the Knight of Swords. And this knight is very fast. He's a decision maker. He comes in quickly. So I feel like you're taking action. If you are having a health issue, whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, you're taking action towards something before it uh, gets out of control. You're nipping something in the bud, so to speak here, with the Knight of Voices. And next up in your health, we do have the two of emotions. So we have two twos showing up here. And this is, again, about choices, partnerships, duality. So in the health category here, you may be a little bit stressed out due to some sort of choices in those categories uh, with a partnership in another. It can be a lover. It can be a family member. It can be an employee. It can be anybody here that uh, maybe has... 
uh, stress you out a little bit and you're just needing to get away for a little while uh, in order to kind of recoup your energy and tune back into your intuition here because it's hard to quiet the mind and listen to the intuition when you have so much going on. But I feel a lot of you are going to make a quick decision, again, uh, to heal whatever it is that needs to be worked on for you. Again, whether it's internally or externally here, you're working on that uh, so your health doesn't deteriorate because of it here you're releasing you're getting away you're stepping outside of the box for a little while and you're focusing on what is your intuition trying to tell you i like this health reading i feel good I feel an overall good. I feel like you're tuning into yourself here and you're bringing balance back into things. You're reflecting on things. Instead of things being so diverse and so split up in uh, regarding a choice, because I feel like for some of you, this choice has been leaving you with a little bit of headache and leaving you up at night. And maybe that's why I'm getting the energy spirit is saying that somebody is having sleepless nights here uh, because because of some decision or choice or partnership that's kind of been uh, butting heads like two rams. Two rams is what I'm seeing. Oh, and then as I say rams, for your wealth category, we do have tender embrace. And even though these aren't rams, uh, this is what I like to see because even though you're healing from the budding of the rams here, in your wealth, we have tender embrace. So typically, I like to... I like to do money or finances in this category here of wealth, but you can take wealth and look at it any which way you'd like here, Pisces. But this is all about kindness. It's about giving. It's about compassion. So I feel like the more wealth that you want to accumulate here, Pisces, the more compassion that you need to give and that others will give you in return here. Tender Embrace is a really beautiful card, actually. And uh, I feel like you're feeling... Um, you're feeling very compassionate at this time. So you may be doing a job or a career that is leading from the heart. You're doing something that you're proud of. Uh, you're embracing something for, uh, for the good feelings and the happy vibes it gives. We have an awakening showing up in your wealth. So the awakening card is the judgment card. And the judgment is all about your purpose, your calling, literally uh, an awakening coming in to your wealth category here. So I feel a lot of you may be making a change completely on the direction of your life path. You're really reflecting. Again, you have reflection showing up twice. So you're looking at your wealth and you're reflecting upon it saying, is this something that I really want to do? Is this something that's going to bring me the wealth that I want to manifest? Is this going to bring me the happiness and the financial freedom that I seek at this time? This is all about a wake-up call, and it's you making a decision and doing it. It's about a second chance here as well. And I feel for a lot of you in the wealth department, uh, you could have needed uh, to work on forgiveness. Not judging yourself, not judging others, but leading with more compassion. So these two cards kind of go hand in hand here. So I like this showing up in your wealth department because I feel like you are really weighing something up. Again, because you have two choices, two cards in your health that say that you've kind of been in your head about something uh, regarding, it may be regarding finances, it could be regarding any area of your life regarding the health, but this is uh, regarding your wealth and you're making a decision to ultimately, the five of uh, inspiration here is the five of wands. So in your wealth department, if you feel like you've had to compete, if you've had these obstacles regarding how you're going to get this wealth or how you're going to um, get to where you want to go, I feel like you're pushing yourself at this time. And uh, you can see here that all she needs to do is look in the mirror. Okay, yeah, there's people that are climbing above her, below her, but there's a lot of different mirrors. And um, what the message is saying here is look into the mirror here and uh, see who who that beautiful, authentic self is, Pisces, and what you have to offer. Because I feel in the wealth category, I feel like you have a lot of... Um, a lot of abundance coming in for you or a lot of wealth coming in for you, but you need to see your worth and you need to know that whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it with compassion and it's going to lead to uh, more wealth than you know here. We have two fives. So in the health, we have two twos. Now we have two fives for you. And we have the five of emotions now coming up. And fives are about change. It's about uncertainty, but it's also about uh, obstacles and freedom. 
So a lot of you are wanting to know how can I be more financially free? How can I do what I love at the same time as well as uh, compassionately? How can I do that and bring in more wealth to my life here? And the five of cups, five of emotions is uh, feeling like you are already appreciating what you have and giving more gratitude. So what I'm hearing here is I want you to focus on gratitude is the key word that spirit is pointing out here in your wealth department. So at the end of the day, <coughs> excuse me, at the end of the day, Pisces, I want you to start focusing on five things uh, that you are grateful for. Your home, your vehicle, your children, your family, your job, uh, whatever that is for you here. I want you to bring more gratitude because I feel like that is going to be a big key factor in uh, bringing more wealth into your life here. So some of the things that a lot of us take for granted is uh, really what you are awakening to at this time. And you're saying, you know what? Uh, I'm going to relive my life a different way because obviously what I'm doing is not working here. So you have this huge awakening coming in in the wealth sector, the wealth category. Some of you are completely changing a direction in your life path. Maybe you've been doing something for a while on the wealth department regarding a career or regarding money and you're going to pick up and go. You have a couple cards of travel here as well. So maybe you're just going to boom, uh, hightail it because you want some sort of emotional, financial, spiritual freedom, whatever that looks like to you here. I feel like you've been working towards it. Okay. And now is the time that you're actually going to make a decision to move forward. But whatever it is, you're going to like it because we have tender embrace coming up. You're going to do, uh, do it with kindness. You may be talking to others involving your money matters or regarding finances. Maybe it's to get a raise or a promotion, but you're leading with kindness and that will not stir you in the wrong direction here, Pisces. So let's take a look at your abundance. Oh, I love this. We have endless possibilities, endless possibilities. This is about moving beyond limiting beliefs. Okay, so if you're letting fear, Pisces, hold you back in any way whatsoever, whatever those fears are, you need to address and realize that there is a whole universe out there filled with uh, endless possibilities. And uh, let me just take a look. Oh my goodness, I love this for you. So we have the Queen of Inspiration, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Ten of Materials. This is the Ten of Pentacles here. <coughs> Excuse me. So first off, this abundance is you realizing that the world is your oyster, so to speak, that you can carry the pearl in your hand. Where do you want to go? You have the pearl already, but it's opening up, opening up and knowing that you already have it. So what is it that you want to manifest uh, regarding abundance? Abundance can look like anything. It can be prosperous uh, relationships. It can be abundance and money. It can be a beautiful new home. It can be a vehicle. It can be loving, uh, guiding spiritual advice and relationships. Whatever abundance is for you, you have the pearl. You're holding it. The queen of inspiration, queen of wands. She is, uh, she can be an entrepreneur. She can be a business owner as well, but she's very confident. She's very bold and she usually gets what she wants, but she knows she's worth it. So she looks attractive. She's uh, beautiful inside and out here and very social, very outgoing. So I feel again, you can attract whatever it is that you uh, want to manifest, whatever abundance you want to manifest at this time. Uh, next up, we have the three of voices. Three of voices, <coughs> excuse me, one moment here, Pisces. Just going to grab a drink here. I apologize. I have allergies coming up, leaving me with a little bit of a scratchy throat. We have the three of swords showing up for you, Pisces. So the three of swords is typically the, the card of a loss, a separation, heartbreak. It could be third party. It could be uh, anything that is rejecting you because really rejection is God's protection. There's some sort of healing coming in here. There is some sort of forgiveness here. This can be some news that you're still trying to recover from. And, but I feel for most of you, it's a decision again, a decision to make. So whatever this is for you, the possibilities are endless. You don't have to have this one way thinking, uh, regarding this, this can be healed. And once this is healed, whatever this is for you in your abundant sector, 
that is kind of holding you back from achieving all of the abundance that you want whatever again that looks like for you pisces what do you have coming in one of the most beautiful cards in the whole deck and this is the ten of pentacles this is uh all about material abundance it's about wealth it's about prosperity building a legacy that you can uh, leave to your children if you want this is you building a solid life being financially secure. So yes, we talk about financial freedom here. We talk about emotional freedom, the family life, being happy, being abundant, being successful. This is it. So whatever this is that is either breaking your heart, excuse me, breaking your heart or you feel like you cannot get past, maybe something you've been grieving for a while, for years, maybe your whole lifetime. Maybe this is childhood trauma. Maybe this is something that happened in the past that's been holding you back from achieving this amount of abundance that you already, again, are holding that beautiful pearl. So the possibilities are endless here. So what this is saying, the universe is saying you are worthy. You know yourself. You know that you can get past this, that this is doesn't have to hold you back from achieving that abundance because right behind that door, right behind when you open up that oyster or that uh, that oyster, that's uh, what you have. This is your pearl here, Pisces. So I love this energy for you. This is a very beautiful reading. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a message from the wisdom of the oracle and I will read you the prosperity message. Oh, okay. Well, one has already flipped, and I haven't seen that one before, so we're going to pull that one um, out. I mean, I haven't seen it, and I just shuffled prior to your reading and uh, saged all your cards. So let's take a look here. 36, it says, come to the edge. It's about courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting risk. Oh, wow. Yep. Now I know why that one was flipped over. Okay, so the prosperity message is this for you, Pisces. Fear is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. Now is the time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved. Oh, the drama of it all. Oh, goodness. I just read you the protection message. I'm so sorry, Pisces. That was the protection. I was supposed to read you the prosperity. So maybe that resonated with a few of you, okay? Because there's no such thing as coincidence. So I'm going to just back that up here. And I'm going to read you the prosperity message. If, if ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. This is the perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now, and if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears. You don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for. The essence is much more powerful, and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than you can imagine. Take that steps. The results will be amazing. Woo! I love this for you coming to the edge and I'm almost getting the endless possibilities vibe. If you come to the edge here of whatever this is that you've been maybe holding on to uh, for a bit now, you're coming to the edge and you're going to see the results of something more beautiful than you ever imagined. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. I hope you liked this message. If so, please hit that like button, comment, uh, subscribe, and uh, click that bell. And I look forward to tuning into your full moon reading next week. Lots of love.